Hello. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start a roadside food stall business. My name is James and I will be your business consultant in this video. Now, before we start a roadside food stall business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. Food stands have lower overhead costs than traditional restaurants and the ability to relocate. You can offer tasty food at a reasonable price and have the freedom to relocate if business does not go well in your current location. There are various levels of portability for a food stand, here are some examples. 1. Push Carts A push cart is a small, manually pushed cart that allows for only limited food preparation. Hot dog and ice cream carts are popular examples of this type of food stand. Because of their small size, they can move through densely populated areas such as parks. 2. Food Trucks Food trucks have been retrofitted with a small kitchen. A food truck allows you to travel between locations more easily, such as different food festivals or office buildings. 3. Kiosk A kiosk is a permanent structure. Kiosks can be found at events such as festivals and farmers markets. They take longer to build, but because they are semi-fixed, you can better personalize your food stand with better cooking equipment and decorations. Because they are immobile, selecting a good location is critical. When starting a roadside food stall business, you will need licenses and permits. The licenses and permits required for your food stand will vary depending on where you operate your business. In most cases, your food stand must be certified in all cities and counties where you serve food. If you only sell prepackaged foods, such as popsicles, the requirements are less stringent because you do not need a food handler's permit. A food handler's permit is required if you handle food, even if it's just scooping ice cream. Some cities, such as Dallas, Texas, prohibit the sale of food that is not intended for immediate consumption because it is potentially hazardous. Food that has the potential to be hazardous is defined as food that spoils quickly, such as dairy products. A food service establishment permit, a general business license, and a food safety permit are also required. Food service must be zoned in the areas where you intend to sell food. In California, for example, you must contact the local city hall to confirm zoning. You must display your permits in a visible location and renew them on a yearly basis. The following step is to identify your target market. When deciding what type of food to sell at your open food stand, there are several factors to consider. As an example, point 1. What are the most popular foods in your area? 2. Do you know how to cook anything? 3. What kinds of events do you intend to set up at? 4. How much time do you want to spend preparing food? 5. Can your customers easily transport the food? Next, look for local fairs and festivals in your city, county, or state. Use websites like FestivalNet to keep track of major food festivals in the United States and your state. Another excellent location is in front of bars and nightclubs. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start a roadside food stall business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy, an extension for education.